Hey guys, Brittany again at Exo Geek, and uh, today I've decided to just do a straight on video so I cannot be staring off in distance so much. Uh, I'm trying out these headphones to see if the mic actually works, so we'll see. Otherwise, I don't know. You'll never see this video. Anyway, so today I am reviewing this board game Escape the Room Mystery at the Stargazer's Manor. So basically, this game, uh, apparently Escape the Room games evolved from an app where you try to escape the room. I've never played one of those. They then evolved into actual physical events and uh, then to a board game, apparently. So I played this game a couple days ago with my brother-in-laws and my husband, and this is what we had to say about five different factors of the game. Okay, so the first factor I'm going to talk about is fun. How fun was this game? Well, as adults ranging from 25 to 28, we found the game mildly enjoyable. I feel that we really, we should have put on the music and the costumes like the game suggests. I feel like it would have been more fun that way. We definitely did have fun, but it wasn't as fun as it could have been for reasons I'm going to get into later. I would say for fun, it got like a 3 out of 5, and that was mostly because I was playing with people I really liked. Uh, I've played games I liked more. Unfortunately, this just wasn't really one of them. Uh, well, I'll, I'll talk about the other reasons, but it, it was mildly fun. I would definitely say to try it out. Second factor is going to be playability. So the game was extremely easy to understand. The instructions were very easy to read. Uh, there was no mystery at the manor whenever it came to how we were supposed to play. Uh, we pretty much caught on within the first five minutes of exactly how we were supposed to be doing this. We weren't, like, confused or anything, so there was that. Uh, if you have people that aren't that great at board games, this would be a good one because it's so easy to understand. There's no complicated rules or, you know, no time travel and everything. It's just, like, very straightforward. And so it was really easy to play. Three. This is the one that we had a problem with. Uh, we play a lot of board games, and so difficulty, uh, it wasn't difficult at all. It, it said to give like a time limit of, let me see, if you had, uh, let me see, let me see. Okay, so if you had three to five players, you had two hours. Six to eight players, 1.5 hours. So we had three players, so we set it for two hours, and all together, including the bonus time if you get to the end, uh, which I think is you have two hours and 30 minutes all together, we finished this in less than an hour and a half, so that was extremely disappointing. I was expecting it to be harder, uh, just because of all I'd heard about Escape the Game type game, or Escape the Room type games. So it was a little bit too easy. Uh, we we solved the first three puzzles in like 10 minutes. It was just like the clues were way too easy to understand. Uh, my husband like looked at it and was like, oh, that's how you do it. And so, you know, it was just really, really easy to understand. I, I feel it would be better for smaller children. It says ages 10 and up, but I think maybe 10 to 18 should be the limit because this is way too easy for adults. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't hard. I'd give it like a 2 out of 5 for difficulty. So if you're looking for a hard game, something to pass time, this is not really it, if you're older. 4 would be quality of the material. So this, I'm going to give a, a complete 5 out of 5. Uh, quality was great, actually. They have this awesome little solution wheel that only lines up with uh, 2 have to be showing. And they have to match whatever clue you're on, and that's how you know you have the right solution. So this thing is awesome. I love it. I really like how interactive it was. Uh, the instructions are easy. All the paper is, like, really thick. There's no flimsy stuff. You have to build a machine at one point. Uh, it comes like, a dowel and stuff. This was really cool. Everything's really nice and high quality. Nothing's thin. Uh, so nothing feels like it's really cheap, and that's really nice. Uh, one thing I will say about the quality, I think it was a little bit too good on the envelopes because when you're opening up uh, where the little seals are, you can't really see it. 
Uh -huh. Okay, you can kind of see the shine of the seal. It's really sticky, and if you're not careful, you will tear the envelopes. We did tear a couple of them, and that does pose a problem for closing them up later. So while it it's very high quality, um, I can't fault them. They did a, I mean, they spent money on making the game, and it shows. So very very high quality. So that's nice. And number five, the last one, uh, value. And when I say value, I mean replay value. Uh, zero. Absolutely no replay value. Once you play this game, you cannot play it again unless you're just watching people, but that's really not actively playing because there's no, like, different deviations. The clues never change, so once you've solved the clue, you know it forever. I mean, you'd have to have amnesia to be able to play it again just because... You can't, you can't play it again. So that, uh, that does kind of annoy me because if I were paying for this game, I think I would be upset that I would pay $20 for a game I can only play once. Now, maybe if you get a group of friends to go in on it, you know, you pay like $4 each, not so bad. But for that, I don't know. I feel like I would rather go to an actual physical place and pay like $10 per person so that way I could at least have the physical being there doing it. An actual physical challenge. I mean, I play twenty dollars for board games, and I'm going to pay like play at least like ten times, you know. So that kind of did get on my nerves. Uh, fortunately, I did not pay for this game. Uh, I got it for free in exchange for this review and the blog review I'm going to be posting. So I mean, it, it all really depends on maybe you know you don't you have agoraphobia, or you can't go outside, or you have a group of friends that doesn't really get to travel. Or you don't have an escape the room place next to you. I live in Houston, so, I mean, everything is at my fingertips. I can pretty much do whatever I feel like. Uh, so, yeah, replay value is absolutely is nil. Overall, I gave this a 3 out of 5 rating on Amazon as well. While it is a really good game, high quality, they obviously took time with it. It was a little bit too easy, and the replay value is just really not there for me. So, uh, yeah, that's my review on Escape the Room Mystery at Stargazer's Manor. Let's see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Store sample, not for resale. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Oh, the other thing. They give you no instructions for resetting the game. So, like, I have all this stuff that I'm going to have to figure out how to put it back together. I, I'm going to give it to my brother-in-law, and I'm going to let him play it with his friends, so at least it gets one more use out of it. But, I mean, that, I feel like they should have brought instructions for putting the game back together. That would have got them a 4 out of 5, to be honest, because that was very annoying. Because now I'm going to have to go look it up and hope to God I get it right. Anyway, that was the review. Goodbye, guys. Thank you for watching.